In this video, I'm going to be putting on display the most expensive knife I've ever held in my hand. We're going to be looking at the Dave Beck WSK Model G Tracker. Stick around. I hope everyone's doing well. I hope your family's doing well. Thanks for taking time to stop in and watch this video. I hope you enjoy it. Let's get rolling. I've always said I've got the most awesome subscriber base in the whole wide world. Just an awesome group of people, you know, with a lot of common interest. And, you know, we, we love a lot of the same things. And I think this community is a very pleasant place to be for the most part. It's even better when you get really good ideas and support from your subscribers. And this video is pretty much sponsored by a subscriber who has loaned me this knife to review. I'm going to be sending it back to him. I'll keep his name anonymous. Man, I just really feel honored to be entrusted with something so expensive. I'm not going to beat this knife up. This is not my knife. I, I really just want to put this on display, let you get a good up close look at this masterpiece. I don't know if I have ever seen anything as beautiful as this with the exception of my wife and children, but this is an absolute work of art. This is going to be very hard for anyone to find. I know right now on Google search, you could find this with Arizona custom knives, but you're going to pay right at $4,000 for it. Look at that. 12 overall inches. Your blade here is seven inches. These are micarta scales and well, well done. It just feels so perfect when you hold it. Very, very high quality steel, uh, unlike anything I've ever seen, but the description said it's 01 tool steel. So there you go. Now, obviously this G model doesn't have the saw on the back. I know a lot of people like that. It's got a nice little edge. It's obviously not as sharp as the main edge here, but this is actually pretty sharp and you can do a whole lot of things with it. It obviously makes piercing no problem at all. And striking ferro rods and all of that comes very easy with an edge like this, but you could even sharpen that more if you wanted to. Now these WSK knives are modeled after the original tracker used in The Hunted. So if you want the movie tracker knife, this is the product line that you're going to be looking at now of course the one showcased in the hunted had the saw on the back i'm sure i haven't been into trackers as long as many of you watching this video right now but from what i gather these wsk trackers are the originals when i first got into these i didn't really know the history i did a video one time talking about how much i love the tracker knife and i think i got to talking about tom brown a little bit in that video and trying to tell my audience a little bit of what I had read on the internet. And a lot of people, you know, of course came in the thread and was like, man, you got no clue, man. That knife was not designed by him. It was designed by someone else. And, you know, honestly, when I first started researching trackers, the WSK was the, the first one that came into my search when I started inquiring about the knife from the movie. For the most part, if a knife is showcased in a movie, you're going to automatically pay so much more for that blade because the demand is so high. The movie The Hunted was all about the knife. It was all about knife combat. There was so much to do with knives and knife combat in that movie. That's why there was so much attention placed on this knife and why so many people came out of this movie going, what knife was displayed in The Hunted? I asked Google the same question and it brought up the Dave Beck Wilderness Survival Knife. And then I looked at the price and I was like, ooh, we gotta find something else. And look, it's the same with like the John Wick knives. You know, like if you wanted to get the same OTF knife that he used, you're gonna pay massive amounts of money for that exact model. And the one in the most recent installment of John Wick is even more expensive, but I saw a review on that and how solid it was built. It's built like no other OT f knife but you will pay a lot of money for anything that is clearly showcased in a movie to the point to where you're asking questions about it in the description section i'm going to drop a link to a website drbeckknives.com you can go out to that site and find out everything there is to know 
about the origin of these blades, which really got going, I do believe, in the early 80s. So this, this is nothing new. This has been around for a while. It's just evolved. And on the site, you'll get a list of the varying models. You know, they just have different designs and different handle designs, which I really like this handle a lot. I love these minor finger grooves here, but I like that that straight handle. This is just a perfect looking knife. I, for me, I like the, the saw on the back. I do like to have that just because if I'm gonna be out for any extended period of time doing hard tasks, I do like the one-stop shop aspect of a tracker. You know, the ability to chop like a hatchet you know, cut like a knife and have that saw to cut those notches if I need to for traps. I wanna go back and point out the thickness of this knife. I'd have to say this is about six millimeters thick, so it's beefy as it can get. I've reviewed a lot of trackers on my YouTube channel, and one thing you've heard me say probably quite a few times is that I have always believed since I started reviewing these copies of the original that the Warivo D2 trackers were the ones that gave me the most similar feel to this original. But let me tell you something, when you get this one in your hand and then you look at all the copies, I mean, there is a definitive difference, but man, that price range, it better be. I've often wondered if I personally would ever pay that much for this knife. I'd have to be a very, very wealthy person in order to do that and then you're like man do i ever want to use this or is this just going to be a novelty but i will tell you this thing looks like it can hold up to anything again i'd love to be able to beat this against some things i just can't do it in this video i can't do it with someone else's knife but what i did want to do is give you an opportunity to get an up close look at this now let's look at this sheath this is just such a thick and sturdy piece of equipment. You've got this compartment in the front for the sharpener. You can carry this any way you want to carry it, but I just wanted to give you an up close look at this sheath. I mean, obviously just top quality materials across the board, but I did want to flip this over as well. As you can see, there's just all kinds of ways that you can carry this and attach it to things. I mean, look at this thing. Goodness gracious, man. It's just hard to beat the original on anything. And these are just perfect. The curve is perfect. Everything about this blade, everything about its look. So friends, don't think for a moment that I'm reviewing this knife because you know how I feel about trackers and you know that I look at this and see absolute perfection and it's hard to review perfection. The only problem I would ever run into with this knife is making the decision to actually use it and strike it against something. You know, they make so many more affordable trackers out there that you can get out and work hard with. And I do like the Tom Brown tracker from Tops, but none of them compares to these WSK trackers. And I just wanted to just do a showcase and put this on display for you today. Keep a lookout. There may be more models reviewed like this in the future. Take care.